Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love. Now, today I want to talk about evolution spiritually. Now, evolution spiritually, how is this going together? Big things. Evolution, what I'm talking about is your personal growth. I'm also talking about the laws of physics in the sense of this. A lot of people think that evolution simply advances to dominate one species. But who are we? Eventually, Mother Nature runs its courses. A new species will develop to eventually be able to, you know, put it over that species. And then another species will come off to sort of put it over that sort of one to bring back balance. Life ultimately resolves around balance. It resolves around the circle. You have the sun. You have the moon rising, setting. You have um, rain helping the trees grow in exchange the trees and the water also produce oxygen so everything's going around in a circle everything will restore to its balance so the way people are going they're just dominating each other or dominating another species of animal but this being said eventually what they're doing is a path to destruction going downhill de-evolution eventually and the good um, people that are kind hearted that are seeking the land that are planting they're the ones that are going to make it the rest of the civilization if civilization collapses they'll be fighting over resources killing each other while the other people that go out and fish plant eat their own produce are the ones that are going to be a lot more beneficial but not just um physically but also mentally the rest of the population fighting over resources will break down crumble little trust for each other division destruction in a sense unless species work together in a sense so when we come together working together that's when we truly evolve when we truly progress we're meant to be the guardians of this planet not the destroyers we start putting in the work be spiritual be one with ourselves, one with the planet, one with the universe. Realise that our bodies belong to this planet, but our souls, our eternal mind belong to the universe. So in a sense, we're seeking progression in innerly. Everything can be answered from within. As our species has evolved so far, we can take notice of ourselves a lot more deeper. We can think, oh, is existence really real? That sort of thing. Everyone has that sort of thought. It's like a dream. It's because we've evolved so far. We're able to take more conscious thought. We're able to be more in tune with our consciousness. It means we're progressing and evolving, eventually no longer needing this physical body, being pure energy, pure conscious thought. So this pure conscious thought has always been around. It's always existed. What this means is we brought forth this existence and we are this energy that's continually being recycled and reused. All life essentially is the source. All life is connected. So with my previous videos, when I've made up, videos about reincarnation and I mentioned about black holes sucking in galaxies and all that sort of stuff for energy restoring the universe keeps expanding so everything is holding balance so nature seeks balance so a true progression of evolution it means we're letting go of our primitive instincts like war and chaos and destruction all the shitty things and evolving into high levels of compassion empathy seeing ourselves through others, being one with ourselves, focused on progression, not just expansion, not just the basic forms of living, rather seeing there's more to life. The true answer of life is progression and love. So it's also to do with experience. Everything is experience. Everything is learning. Life is a constant learning cycle. Everything is. So everything adapts in order to restore balance. So this is what evolution is meaning spiritually. It means we're progressing ourselves in the higher forms of consciousness, seeking higher levels of being. Peace and love, everyone. I love you all. Connect to one, mind and soul. Namaste.